Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this is a short video on how I edit my Milky Way images. Uh, this might not be the correct way or the best way, but this is a way that works for me and how I've been doing it for the last few years. Um, so let's start. This is a photograph I took up at Tiari Point, just north of Auckland. I was captured using a Canon EOS 6D with a Samyang 24mm lens uh, set at f3.5. 10,000 ISO and 20 second exposure. I shoot f3.5 because A, it reduces vignetting, B, it reduces chromatic aberration, C, it reduces the coma in the corners, and also adds a lot of sharpness to your stars. I use 10,000 ISO because I like the way it renders the, the night sky. A lot of people out there use uh, a lot lower ISO for their own reason. There's no need to go by any rule for this, it's just whatever looks good on your screen, especially when you're editing it. And this is where, how I'm comfortable to do it. Now I'll open up the, the raw file in Lightroom. Uh, I add about 25 clarity and about 15 vibrance and 10 saturation. Uh, I ignore all these and go down to noise reduction 30 on the luminance and leave 25 on the color. And then we'll add a profile correction. Uh, the new updates with uh, Lightroom have now got the Samyang or Rokinon lenses, which is very handy. Now looking close, uh, that's where it's up to. And that was before. But it smoothed it out a bit. Now we'll go ahead and open that up in Photoshop. Now I don't do anything really fancy in here. It's pretty much just brightness and contrast adjustments. Have a play around, see what you like, see what the effects do. So as you go out to there, then I'll Command J to duplicate that. You can see it's going quite extreme, so you know, I can reduce a little bit. And then Command J to duplicate that again. This time it's really blowing out the core of the Milky Way. So I want to reduce the brightness about there. And I'll go in and erase that section. And then invert that mask. You can kind of see where I've erased there, so I'll just add a bit of feather to that mask. So now it's looking pretty good. It's added a nice boost to that Milky Way. Now that's really how simple it is. But then now this adjustment is pretty much going over the whole image. So what we're going to do is we'll group those adjustment layers. Let's rename that contrast. Add a mask to that using a gradient tool, G for gradient, make sure it's on black to white, and click and drag down, and that brings back the foreground a bit better. Um, I kind of want this a little bit darker, so I'm just going to adjust the density of that mask to how I want it. And then we can save that file. And when we save that, that should open up in Lightroom. Here we go. So we have two files the Lightroom edit and the Photoshop edit. Now in here, I want to do a little bit more work on, on the Milky Way here. Gradient filter there. Now for this mask, I'm going to add a little bit more contrast to about 37, 38. Bit of clarity, we're right to about 50. And a bit of saturation, we're only going to go up to about 28, 30. But you want to do the trick. Now that's looking pretty cool. Now I want to do a bit of work to the foreground. So I'll add in another mask. If you, if you click and drag your, your gradient masks, um, if you hold down shift, it'll go straight up and down. So I want this one to be quite a, a long gradient. Now this one's going to oh, 
the exposure a bit. A little bit of clarity. Clarity will really make those um, details come out. I'll only go to about 25. And then reduce the noise on this one for about 40. The other thing I like to do is add a bit of split toning so we can bring out the greens a little bit more. Don't need to go too much into it. This is in the highlights and in the shadows I want to add a little bit of blue. So there we go. Now that's I'm happy with that. That's how I would I'll then export this and upload to Facebook or Instagram and a high-res file for printing if I need to. If we go and have a look, there is grain in there, but it's nice and fine. This is a file that I prepared earlier, just to show you that you can do, there's many ways of doing these adjustments in Photoshop. You've got curves, you've got levels, you've got brightness and contrast, and go through all the filters, there's heaps of stuff you can do. Brightness and contrast is my preferred way of doing this. This one is done using curves. This one is done using levels. And this one is done using brightness and contrast. Now, brightness and contrast seems to do a better overall feel without going too hardcore between the darks and the lights. I'll, I'll show you with the curves. One reason why I do not like using curves for adding details to the Milky Way is that it flattens the colors. So if I lift up the lights a bit there, you can see you're losing a bit of detail there. So bring that back down, bring that detail back. Then if I go into the darker areas, you kind of lose that detail. It's kind of, it, in a way, it can help reduce the noise if you really wanted to, see how that evens out the noise. But it just gives a washed out look to the Milky Way. Now, if, if I'm using curves, I'd rather use curves in, in Lightroom just to squash the blacks and the highlights a little bit. Um, yeah. Now, next up, we've got our levels. I'll reduce the opacity of that one. There we go. Levels. I use levels for stretching the histogram for my deep sky stuff. So it does work for these Milky Way landscapes. What you do is you lift up the blacks and adjust the, the mid tones a bit. And then reduce the lights to brightness. And then duplicate that another one and then of course I reduce it reducing the highlights for the core because it blows out now I feel levels because you got three modes of adjustment and then you got these this the gray areas down here it, it does add a lot more work to to what you need to do whereas the brightness and contrast so it's got three layers here really simple up the contrast, up the brightness, reduce the brightness and add a contrast or whatever to, to there. And my wife is currently at Rabbit Island apparently. That's cool, down in Nelson. She's away for the weekend. Yeah, so that's three other ways that you can edit your, your Milky Way images. Well, thank you for watching this video and I hope that uh, you took something away from this. Again, try things yourself. See what works. My way might not work for you, but it's been working for me for the last few years. And I've got no reason to change unless something really awesome comes out. Who knows? We'll see how it goes. Thank you.